Hello, thank you for watching this talk entitled Designing a New Lattice Model to Simulate Low Molecular Weight Block Copolymers for Nanolithographic Applications. I am Jia Ping Wu in Professor Bao Huili's group at Nankai University in China, and this work was in collaboration with Professor David Wang at Colorado State University in U.S. So, block copolymers consist of chemically distinct polymer chains, or C blocks, covalently bonded together. Here shows the most commonly studied polystyrene polymethyl methylate diblock copolymer. Due to their spontaneous self-assembly into macrophase-separated domains with a uniform size ranging from a few to tens of nanometers, determined mainly by their molecular weight. Block copolymers have great potential applications in nanotechnology. An example is to use block copolymers as templates in nanolithography, which currently require well-ordered nanostructures with sub-10 nanometers domain sizes. This is typically achieved by using low molecular weight diblock copolymers that have strong repulsion between the two blocks. While decreasing the copolymer molecular weight gives smaller domain sizes, it also leads to increased fluctuations, which are undesired and currently limit the application of block copolymers in nanolithography. For nearly symmetric diblock copolymers, forming lamellae in experiments, this plot shows how the invariant degree of polymerization and bar controlling the system fluctuations varies with the bulk lamellar period, L0. Here, M bar is defined as the number of the copolymer chains n per volume of Re0 cubic, with Re0 being the root mean square end to end distance of an ideal chain and estimated at the square root of n times the monomer size B. As the volume B of polymer mass is essentially those of monomers, we find that M bar has the same order of magnitude as the chain length n. A smaller n bar means larger fluctuations. From this plot, we see that diblock copolymers producing sub 10 nanometers domain sizes have n bar values on the order of hundreds. It is therefore important to study and understand the large fluctuation effects in low molecular weight block copolymers. Multicolor simulations using self and mutual avoiding works on a lattice can be used to study both the thermodynamics and dynamics of block copolymer self assembly. Due to the short chain lenses limited by the computational cost, however, M bar in such simulations have rarely exceeded 100. This table lists some lattice models commonly used in the literature, where FIMAX and ETA are the maximum polymer volume fraction and actual polymer filling fraction, respectively, on the lattice. For example, in the bound fluctuation model, FIMAX is 1 eighth, and people typically use ETA of 1 half in simulations of polymer mounts. Also, B here is the root mean square bound length of an ideal chain on the lattice in units of lattice spacing. We see that under this approximation, M bar is proportional to the square of phi max and B to the power of 6. It is precisely due to the latter that this number for the bound fluctuation model is much larger than that for the simple cubic lattice. But because the typical eta value in the latter is around 0.8 for mounts for the same n, the bound fluctuation model gives an n by value only about twice of the simple cubic lattice. Similarly, this so-called BFM3 model proposed by Larson, which has six allowed bound vectors of length 1, 12 of length square root of 2, and 8 of length square root of 3, gives an n bar value about one order of magnitude larger than the simple cubic lattice. What we propose here is the so-called FBCC model, which gives an M bar value more than 50% larger than BFM3, because the number of chains n in the simulation box needs to be proportional to the square root of chain length in order to reduce the effects of periodic boundary conditions. 
Our model is about as twice efficient as BFM3 and much more efficient than other lattice models listed here. As you may have guessed from its name, our FBCC model combines the face-centered and body-centered cubic lattice models. In other words, its only difference from BFM3 is the removal of six bounds of length 1, so it has a total of 20 bound vectors. Note that both FCC and BCC have a Femax smaller than 1, but our model has Femax equals to 1. As I explained in the previous slide, we'd like to study the fluctuation effects in block polymers having M bar on the order of hundreds. With our FBCC model, this requires only tens of segments on each train, which is well doable. Finally, we note that the bound fluctuation model was originally designed to study polymer dynamics by preventing bound crossing, and Schaeffer also proposed a way of doing this for BFM3. His method can be readily used in our model to enable the simultaneous study of both thermodynamics and dynamics of block polymer self-assembly that produces sub-10 nanometer domain sizes. Next, we choose the eta value to match the isothermal compressibility of our FBCC model to those of real polymers. Here, we define the normalized isothermal compressibility, kappa T, where P denotes the pressure, and this logarithmic plot shows it as a function of M bar for polyethylene, polydimethyl siloxane, polymethyl mesacrylate, and polystyrene with their property data taken from these two references. Since real polymers are nearly incompressible, we expect our eta to be close to 1, and therefore use the Flory Huggins predictions for athermal chains, which are independent of the lattice coordination number. We see that eta values in the range of 90% to 99% match the real polymers. In case you are worried that the Flory Huggins theory is just a midfield theory, we also calculated kappa T in canonical ensemble Monte Carlo simulations of a thermal chains on FBCC lattice by extrapolating the normalized structure factor to zero wave number as shown by the red symbols obtained using n equals to 16, 32, and 64. Such nearly quantitative agreement between the Blurry Huggins predictions and Monte Carlo results is actually expected as the theory gives the exact kappa T of zero at eta equals to one. As the fractions of vacancies are small, we use the vacancy diffusion algorithm proposed by Britter and co-workers in our simulations. Here, a child move can have two steps. First, we randomly select a vacancy and try to switch its position with one of its nearest neighbor polymer segments, say segment S. The child move is rejected if there is no nearest neighbor segment, or this switching breaks more than one band of segment S. If no band is broken, the child move is completed. Only when one band of S is broken do we proceed to the second step, where we rotate the partial chain that does not contain segment S to make the vacancy diffuse along it, till either the chain connectivity is restored or more than one band of the moved segment are broken. So the key of this algorithm is to choose the set of nearest neighbor segments of the vacancy. We consider it seven different choices, A to G, and find that only A, F, and G here satisfy the detailed balance and that G gives the highest sampling efficiency. We now have an efficient lattice model suitable for the study of low molecular weight block polymers having both sub-10 nanometers domain sizes and realistic compressibility. To demonstrate that it captures the fluctuation effects in such systems, we consider the lamellae formed by symmetric linear double copolymers AB at chi n equals to 20, where the Flory Huggins chi parameter between A and B segments is taken as a direct input to our model. With lamellae oriented in the x direction at a fixed period L close to the bulk period L naught, 
Predicted by the self-consistent field theory for our model, we calculate the difference dot psi in the order parameter profiles psi x between the Monte Carlo result and the self-consistent field prediction at the same end. Since delta psi is due to the system fluctuations neglected by the self-consistent field theory, we obtain the expected result that the fluctuation effects decrease with increasing n bar, indicating that our model captures the fluctuation effects. Finally, with its large number of allowed bound vectors, our FBCC model can also be used to study branched trains such as star block copolymers. To demonstrate this, here we consider the lamellae of symmetric star block copolymers where MA arms and MD arms are connected to the same joint segment, J. To increase the mobility of this joint segment, we allow its bound length to also be 1, which greatly increases the acceptance rate for moving it. As shown in this semi-logarithmic plot, our model can therefore be used for stars having up to 10 arms. We then use the root mean square radius of gyration of an ideal star train R0 to define n bar g in such a way that it is the same as n bar for linear trains. By fixing the total train length n, we see that n bar g decreases with increasing m. We again consider the lamellae oriented in the x direction at a fixed period L and calculate the AB interfacial width W in both Monte Carlo simulations and self-consistent field calculations. We see that as M increases, the lamellar period decreases but W remains nearly constant. In contrast to decreasing N for linear W copolymers where W increases due to the decreasing chi N. Changing the train architecture from linear to star is therefore a better strategy for nanolithographic applications than just the decreasing N. The ratio of W to L of course increases with increasing M due to the increased order disorder transition of star block copolymers, or say the relative decrease of A B segregation. W from Monte Carlo simulations is also larger than the self consistent field result due to the broadening of A B interfaces by capillary wave fluctuations. The difference Delta W also increases with increasing M, which is mainly due to the increased system fluctuations caused by the smaller M bar G. To summarize, we have designed a new lattice model suitable for simulating low molecular weight block copolymers currently used in experiments to achieve sub-10 nanometers domain sizes. It gives an isothermal compressibility comparable to real polymers, high Monte Carlo simulation efficiency, and fluctuation mm. effects important for the low molecular weight block copolymers. It can also be used for branched trains. Finally, if the Schaeffer's method of preventing bound crossing is implemented, our model can be further used to study simultaneously the thermodynamic and dynamic properties of low molecular weight block copolymers needed for nanolithography. Thank you for your attention. Please email if you have any questions.